and welcome to day 29 of the Atlantic Hurricane season, day number 47 in the Eastern Pacific. And that's where we have our next system trying to form at the moment, 96E, which has currently uh, got a high chance development at the moment. Uh, Tropical Storm Cosme, uh, Cosme um, turned uh, remnant low earlier uh, yesterday or maybe the day before actually now. And we also have a new storm in the Western Pacific, Rumbia, which is moving through the Philippines at the moment. So obviously lots of warnings in effect over there at the moment. We'll go on to that very shortly. You can see the Pacific. Ocean wide shot. This is where all the action is going on at the moment um, in terms of the world tropics. Um, you can see the two systems that are currently active Rumbia, Gorio, the Pacific name, uh, and Invest 96C, which will very soon be a tropical depression, most likely. Um, in the Atlantic, not much going on at the moment. You can just about see 96E off to the bottom left of that screen, but in the Atlantic itself, not much going on at all. Um, only that little bit of um, cloud towards the Lesser Antilles which earlier had a um, near 0% chance of development according to the National Hurricane Centre earlier today. I'm not sure if they still have that up there but it probably won't last very long if they still do. The Indian Ocean here um, fairly quiet as well at the moment. doesn't appear at the moment as if any storms are likely to form in this region at least for the time being. So let's take a look at the sea surface temperatures then with all the storm activity in the eastern Pacific waters have uh, fizzled out a little bit but still very close to the Mexican coastline. Still very warm waters here. The Gulf of Mexico the warm waters here are expanding as well towards the southern part of the Gulf. Um, 30 degree waters are starting to develop here as well now. And um, around the Philippines in particular where we're watching the storm, uh, 30 degree waters are very abundant around the Philippine Islands in particular at the moment, especially towards the north where this storm currently is, or is headed anyway. Uh, and this is it, Tropical Storm Rumbia, the uh, Philippine name is Goryeo, currently with winds of 40 miles per hour, a pressure of 996 millibars per uh, position, 11.4 north, 126.4 east. Um, as of 12 a.m. UTC June 29th and you can see here it's expected to move in a northwesterly direction as a tropical storm um, through the Philippines, through um, the islands, uh, the, the main islands, uh, the northern island of Luzon and then off into China as a tropical storm. It's likely uh, to go into China as a tropical storm towards the end there. Signal 2 warnings already in effect for parts of Eastern Visayas and the Bihar region in the Philippines and also Signal 1 warnings in effect for many other places. Signal 2 by the way means 40 to 60 mile per hour winds are expected. Signal 1 warnings in effect for Caraga, Western Visayas, uh, Miraropa, Calabrazon and Manila area, um, the uh, capital of the Philippines uh, currently uh, in Signal 1 which means below 40 mile per hour winds are expected. Um, Invest 96E then, there it is, 30 miles per hour at the moment and it's very likely to become the next storm of the Eastern Pacific. Uh, the models are very excited about this one, predicting it to form at least into a tropical storm. Many predict a hurricane out of this one and one or two perhaps a major hurricane out of this one as well. Uh, looking at the Eastern Pacific satellite imagery then, you can see the remnants of Cosme fairly clearly there moving off to the uh, moving off to the west out to sea in the Pacific. And the reason why it dissipated so quickly was because of the very cold waters over that area. And we also have Invest 96C which is just to the bottom right, um, partly obscured by that black part of the image which appears now and again. Um, but that's evidently developing. The Western Pacific you can see here how the development of uh, the new storm Umbia has been over the past day or so. Um, it's certainly got its act together and of course is now a tropical storm storm. Um, it was only a tropical depression I believe for 6 or 12 hours perhaps um, and is now a tropical storm moving through the Philippines and likely to retain its tropical storm status as it moves through the islands. So uh, that's not um, completely certain at this stage. The CMC computer model then first of all has the um, storm in the eastern Pacific moving firstly to the northwest probably not being a big threat to land and then eventually um, swirling back towards the south and then dissipating. The ECMWF brings the storm closer to the Mexican mainland um, and could cause a little bit of um, disruption over there as it skims the coastline, you can see it there. Um, not too many clues about intensity, perhaps as a mid-tropical storm, maybe a high-end tropical storm called the ECMWF. The GFS model has something fairly similar and that has it moving fairly close to land as well and then it moving off to the west just before reaching the Baja California Peninsula and then moving off to the south and dissipating. The NAVGEM model here's this one as well, moving it close to land. Um, doesn't really give too many clues about intensity properly as a weak tropical storm according to that one. Um, though I'm not too sure about that myself. Looking at the GDFL model, a GFDL model rather, I keep getting that wrong, but never mind. Um, that predicts that to be a hurricane, probably a category one storm I'd say, looking at that one. 
are moving fairly close to land, but probably not too close for comfort. And HWRF predicts um, a particularly major system uh, bottoming out at 955 millibars, I believe, or 952 actually, which would make it probably a major hurricane, which is rather interesting at this stage. Looking at the predicted season scores then for June the 29th, um, obviously with the new storm in the Western Pacific, things are moving slightly, a few scores going up or down. Ken now with 102 in first place, in second Typhoon Belpa with 93, in third place Hurricane Melissa 20 with 91 points, that's the top three at the moment. You can submit your own storm totals at the website, force13.com forward slash inter active just click the 2013 uh, predictor season button and then fill out the um, form where you predict all your um, to storm totals and um, it will be added to the uh, site in due course I have to do it manually unfortunately because uh, I don't have the ability to do all this uh, coding stuff that does it automatically for you uh, so what happened on this day then on June the 29th in 1980 Hurricane Celia dissipated in the eastern Pacific in 1981 tropical storm Brett formed in the Atlantic in 1991 tropical depression 5 formed and made landfall near Salina Cruz Mexico that one's pictured um, and in 1994 tropical storm Bud dissipated in the eastern Pacific on this day in 1996, Hurricane Boris made landfall in Mexico as a Category 1 storm. Ten fatalities was the resulting um, result of that one. In 2001, Tropical Storm Durian formed in the Western Pacific. In 2002, Tropical Depression 3 dissipated in the Eastern Pacific. And in 2003, pictured as well, Tropical Storm Bill formed in the Atlantic. There it is, uh, probably at its peak intensity in the Gulf of Mexico there on that image there. Uh, in 2005, Tropical Storm Brett dissipated in the Atlantic, the second storm of the record-breaking season, of course. Um, Tropical Storm Calvin dissipated in the, in the uh, Eastern Pacific on that same day as well. Tropical Storm Jellowrod made landfall in China, causing seven fatalities in 2006. And in 2010, Alex became the first hurricane of that season in the Gulf of Mexico, obviously. Um, I remember tracking that one as it moved into Mexico as a Category 2 storm. Well, it might have been three at the end. I don't know if it was uh, upgraded in the post-season analysis. I'm sure someone will remember. Um, don't forget you can track the storms at force13.com forward slash storm tracking.html. That's the uh, main storm tracking page which has um, the big overview map with the uh, tables at the top and bottom which shows the storms active and current warnings in effect at a glance. And then you can go uh, more in depth basin by basin to see which storms are active. Obviously um, a, li a little bit of interest in with Rumbia in the Western Pacific at the moment. All the latest warning information is on there. I try to keep it as up to date as I can but obviously with real world commitments uh, that isn't always um, uh, possibility for me but I try to keep it up to date and uh, that's on the storm tracking pages there and don't forget you can uh, go on the social pages of course YouTube Facebook and Twitter force 13 is on all three of those um, and don't forget to show your support by liking following favoriting and subscribing and any others that I may have missed out there uh, ways to get involved um, and I'd be uh, pleased to hear from you uh, and if you have any questions just uh, send them in the YouTube um, comment section and I'll get back to you if that's relevant to the um, to the update or indeed any storms um, but for now the next update will probably be uh, around midnight UTC um, universal time on June the 30th 2013 there probably won't be an update in between due to a busy day for me personally on Saturday uh, but it was back to normal on Sunday with uh, updates in the middle of the day if necessary that's it for now though